You guys, my mother found out I had a channel after over two years, and she's made me know she had to hear about it from someone else, and she's Italian. This is hilarious. I ran it by her. I told her I was going to make a video of how the conversation went between her and me when she found out. Now, some of you might say, well, of course she was going to find... No, I don't think that way. I really don't. I come upon people's channels in when I'm scrolling that have 14 million followers. Never heard from them before I saw their face. So how would I think that YouTube or TikTok would push out videos that are still in the very low numbers to the point that family or friends would see it unless they were searching for this topic? That's what I was thinking. I don't talk about specific family members because I'm the one with the channel and I just don't think they've asked to be discussed. So I always try not to get too specific, but this is too good to be true. And I ran it by my mother and because we were laughing when it, when it unfolded. I told her I was gonna make this video of the account of her having found out through someone else. And again, I can't stress enough, my mother is Italian. If you know, then you can only imagine. Now, I want you to understand something. My mother could be the head of the FBI. No, 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 she really could. She's NCIS, Law and Order, Criminal Minds, real crime shows. She knows everything. She could write a book. She could head the FBI. So she says to me, this is how I hear it. Yeah, I know. I saw it. She was very supportive, though. Just wait. But she, I could tell she was hurt because I didn't tell her. Of course she is. I saw it. I know. This is how specific she got. She knew all this off the top of her head. I saw you did seven a week for your first year, went down to five a week last April, and then landed on three per week. And the little ones, the TikToks, the clips, the shorter ones, I like those. Those are good, the snippets, I know. Then you were doing the off topics last year, I like those. You're good. Your people really love you. You're helping. You seem to have found your place. She knew everything but she's italian see her grandparents came from italy so it's thick still in terms of um the feeling that i should have told her myself that's not very far removed you didn't tell your own mother and i never told her over the last two years but she knew and i didn't get in trouble <laughs> at all there were lots of reasons I didn't tell her. And you guys know that a big part of that was I wanted to do this organically, ground up, with no family or friends fluffing up my numbers, right? I also wanted my feet really wet before I shared it because I, I have different ideas and I've tried many things, right? In my lifetime of, you know, the last 30 years, of course I have. So I wanted to make sure before I shared it with anybody what I even knew, what direction I even knew I was going with it, right? But she's Italian, you guys. And I didn't tell her. And she knew anyway. Of course she knew. Oh, and then the Italian. I had to hear it from someone else. Yeah, oh yeah, everybody loves it, but you didn't tell me a thing. But I'm happy, I am. And good for you. You've always wanted to help people live their best lives. You're doing it. I saw, yeah, I know, 1,700 something followers. I'm telling you, this woman is the OG private investigator. She's hilarious. So I'm laughing at how much she knew. And I even hate to say that I'm mad she knows. I love that she knows. I love that she knows. And she said to me, I even have to say, when you encountered any haters, you handled it in an extraordinary fashion. We're both aware that comes with this kind of thing. If you're on social media, you're going to have people comment negatively on your stuff. But anyway, I should make a series of videos explaining how funny she can be and how the miscommunication between mother and daughter has both viewpoints. But she was hysterical and funny and Italian. You guys, she knew everything. It was wonderful in terms of having it to be out. I suppose now I just have to figure out how to share it with the whole world. That's gonna be tough. Self-promotion, man, I'm just not good at it. 
I have a family member who is. It's an art. It's a confidence. It's a deliberation. It's an intent. I just don't operate that way. I roll more with a gypsy vibe finally at this point in my life. I've learned suits me. I can't ask for something. Remember the first year you guys kept telling me, you have to ask for sub, like, and share. Don't forget to say, and I still fall back into not saying it because that's asking for something, right? It's an impossibility. I become very uncomfortable instantly. No matter how it's framed or for what reason, even if it's valid, I just have a problem with that self-promotion. But I, ha I have to learn. And I hope I do promote more. Now that everyone, my mother, everybody knows. Everybody, mommy? Everybody. I had to hear from everybody else. So all I can promise is I do now that I feel a freedom that my mother knows. And that means I can tell people now. I'm more of a slow growth person, but perhaps it's time, right? To blow this up. I'm not kidding. The more we blow up this channel, the more people will learn. There are other channels, yes, but I want them to hear this one. I think we are great, and I mean we, because the comments and the discussions we have in the comments, you guys helping each other, I place tremendous value in that. If this was just over two years of me just ba 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 every day, and there weren't that interaction, this channel would still be good. I find the videos helpful. I do, and I know you guys do too. So even if you weren't sharing it with me, I would hope they'd still be helping. But our conversations, you guys, we have a great audience. We really need to blow it up. And you know, I don't know what button I hit is something my mother started to say that made me laugh. Because she goes, well, how can I help? And I don't know what button to hit. And what do I do? I said, well, mom, if you watch something and you like it, there's a thumbs up. Okay, and what are these numbers? Nothing, Ma. You just become added to the 1,700 and something number you saw up there. If you hit subscribe. Okay, but like what happens? Nothing happens. No, Ma, you become a subscriber to my channel. That's all. So my number goes up by one. Will that help you? How does that help you? This chat, by the way, took five hours. And just to tell you how funny my mother is, because it was a very healthy discourse. You know, I told her all about my journey and, the, you know, me watching over 2,000 videos and doing research and collecting information and reading books. She was, she was really attentive. She listened. She wasn't mad at me. But I can imagine, as a half-Italian mother, that I kept this huge part of my life from her. That had to be hard. But she was adorable. And she was so supportive. But what's hilarious about my mother, you guys? So we're on the phone for five hours. We both laughed. It was like a Saturday afternoon visit we regarded it. My phone rings. Within 15 minutes, after being on the phone for five hours, she calls back. Again, if you have an Italian mother, you understand. She goes, I forgot. It was about law and order. Richard Beltzer had passed away. That's how the conversation opened, because she loved him, and he had a couple of days prior. The chat then went to the magic of Amazon and how the delivery people and the boxes show up, and Walmart is closing 20 stores, and so is Bed Bath & Beyond, and 120 big lots. Oh, a ton. This is 15 minutes after we just had a five-hour conversation. Then we got to the COVID, changing everything about regarding our work life as a society, and more. All within, no, excuse me, the phone call took 15 minutes. I think it rang within 14 minutes of us having talked for five hours. I wish you got, I think I will make a series of videos with my mother, and ex, even if she's off camera, because there's no one like her. And she really could work for the FBI, 100%. She has, I've seen, she's done, she can dig, she can find, she just knows, she knows everything. Anytime my mother ever knew something, she knew it. She knew it and she was right. Yeah. My mother knows. I'm, I'm outed. I'm outed. So now I feel maybe I can share it freely. It gives me a sense of relief knowing that my mother can 
watch videos and know how I feel about certain topics. She really liked the Off Topic Fridays. And I said, yeah, but Ma, they weren't really a big hit. She said, but I like those. This is one today. This is an Off Topic Friday. But you guys have heard me say for a couple of years, and you guys know why a lot of the reasons I haven't shared my channel about the organic growth and all this. So you understand that I, but I hadn't told my mother. I just told the cousin that I talked to you guys about, I just told her in October. I really have kept this to myself. And it's been hard because people say, what are you doing? And they think that you are free and you know you have to film nine videos in one day. It's out of the bag. My Italian mother knows. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm happy. I'm happy. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you Monday.